Good morning and welcome to, it, it'll be a little bit of a home vlog, but we're going places. <laughs> so it's like not, we're going places. it's not entirely at home. But right now we are wrapping up some birthday presents. Yes, I can. Wait, this long. Oh, okay, here. Ready? Mm -hmm. Hold it tight. That was magic. <laughs> One thing that he like loves is tape, like putting tape on things. So we're taping up. Grayson's birthday present. We're making it very fancy. Look at Beautiful. all our, our fancy pieces of tape that we put on. It's very nice. That's good enough, buddy. That's enough tape. <laughs> I have to wrap one more thing though, so you can help me with that. So, well, I don't want to show the video because I think they might watch the video. Well, by the way, we got Jackson a trampoline, oh, I which he loves. But look at baby brother looking at Jackson on the trampoline. <laughs> He's so intrigued. He's like, what is happening over there? But look at his face. He's like, what? He did not know such a thing could be possible. <laughs> right? Sitting over here because little baby boy was making some noises and hiccuping. And then he pooped himself. So now he's happy. Yeah? What do you want to say? Oh, okay. Yeah? Oh. Okay. I do have to agree with your first... Oh, no, I don't agree with that at all. Well, I could see your point of view. Yeah? What did he say that you just want to say? He was saying that sometimes it's okay to go outside without socks on. What? And I said, what? You gotta wear socks all the time. He says... I don't really like socks. You like socks. He likes socks? Do you like socks? Yeah. He's saying, oh my goodness, did you see Big Brother jumping on that trampoline? <laughs> Look at this. Whoa, You're jumping what? so high I can't even keep the camera on you. It's yeah. bouncing around so much. How silly is that, baby buddy? There's a song from Bubble Guppies that's called Baby Baby Do 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 And they say, you can try out some of that cute baby talk. Buddy, don't do it too hard, okay? Thank you. I was wrong, it's not called Baby Baby, it's called Hey Baby. What is it? A dog can swim underwater. There's a Bubble Guppy. All right, you ready to go to the P? We're going to the mailbox. Yeah, because Ty, what's his name? Tyrone the mailman, Tyrone the mailman, Tyrone the mailman, Tyrone the mailman. I don't actually know the words. <laughs> I never fail to deliver the mail. I never fail to deliver this baby. Oh, I did. I really did deliver this baby. All right, so um, we have to go to the mailbox to send out a package to our friend who we missed her birthday um, last year and the year before because we were out of town. And so we had these things for them. And so we're gonna finally send them over. Well, did you show them the thing that we got for the other friend that got eaten by dogs? No, but you know what's really funny is he just sent me, so we went to a birthday party this weekend. Oh yeah? Hey! Hey! We went to a birthday party this weekend for one of our friends and we bought them this present, right? We got it from, it was a drop ship from Amazon. And look how they sent it to us. I, I opened it up to, to wrap it, to send it, to, to give it to them for their birthday. Look at this. Can you see that? So we got them this thing called a pop and pass and it's like this, um, you, you tr like get the balls in these little cone things and then you, you pop it though, but it like pops it out like this. And then when they mailed it to us, look at this. Here, wait, let me show them this real quick, bud. So look at this. It literally, they sent it to us. It looks like a dog chewed on it. Like what? This is how they mailed it to us. This is how Amazon sent it to us. But it's in the package brand new. Like it doesn't look like it was opened or anything. So I'm just very confused as to why this one side looks like it's been chewed by a dog. This side is totally fine. But like what? What the heck? Why would they send that to us like that? So we ended up returning this. We have to actually return it to, I think you can just take it to a UPS store. Yeah, or like Kohl's or, or Kohl's or there's like tons of places you can take Amazon returns. So we're gonna return it and then we drop ship them a new one. So, and he just sent me a video. So hopefully theirs is not chewed up by a dog. <laughs> so here's a little happy baby. Hi, happy baby. Did you hear him say happy? 
What are you doing? Yeah. yeah. What are you telling mommy? What are you saying to mommy? You're wearing your little growing day by day outfit. Yeah? Yeah? All right, you ready to get in the car? This little one doesn't really love the car. Not a fan, not a fan of the car. Yeah, look at your little feetsies. Look at his legs. Where are you going? Where are you going, bud? Huh? 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 <laughs> so I think Jackson wants the pop and pass now too, because um, he wants he keeps wanting to open this one, but it's it's definitely been chewed on by a dog, so we're not gonna open it. So we'll get you one, buddy. It was actually listed. I googled like number one toys for four year olds, and it was in the top five. So. There you go. So we're headed to the mailbox now, to the post office. So while we are going to the mailbox, I'm gonna add in some clips from when we went to um, Drive Shack the other day. So we went to Drive Shack yesterday, and it wasn't a full video, so I'll put it in now. While we're driving, you can enjoy us doing a little driving at the driving range. Good afternoon, as some of you guys may know, Jackson really enjoys golf. So, a couple of weeks ago, I guess, or maybe a week ago, we took him to Top Golf really enjoyed it now we're at drive shack like the competitor to top golf very similar concept it's a driving range a golf driving range this one's located in lake nona florida just off the 417 should be a good time let's go inside and have a look around this one's a little bit different because there are no holes oh and we're right near the airport as you can tell by the loud noises jen's always wanted a golf cart look at this thing it's massive how many people can fit in this two four six eight people Wow. Yeah, look at you, bud. Come on, this way. You got your golf clubs ready to go. All right, so we're looking for 224. They did give us the option of a high top, a low top, or a couch, and we went with a couch. Because baby Oliver's here. He's gonna be eating some food from mommy, not like actual food. We're gonna do monster hunt. Now that we're all set up here, I got everybody's name in there and everything. And basically, we have to aim for holes out there and then those will be monsters that we're hunting. You ready for it? Also, shout out to Drive Shack for putting some USBs over here. All right, let's see if he remembers. There you go, good job. Where'd it go? There it goes. Nice work. All right, I feel like Jackson's doing pretty good. Oh, nice try. Try again. Yeah, look at that. He hit one that was kind of like, kind of went pretty far out there. I was very proud of him. You having fun? <laughs> All right, some of our food came. So I got the cherry limeade. It's really sour. I love it. Jackson got the apple juice. Tim got soda water. This is really good. It's one of their mocktails. We got a spicy chicken sandwich. The actual chicken kind of looks like a chicken tender. It's not very big at all. Mm, hopefully it tastes better than it looks. But then it came with a spicy jalapeno coleslaw. Tim put it on the side because he didn't know if it'd be too spicy. French fries. We got some pretzel bites that came with horseradish Dijon aioli. That sounds really good. Jackson got chicken fingers, and then I also got some queso fundido, which is like queso with ground beef and a little pico de gallo. Our server is the bartender. He said the pretzel bites were really good, and he was not lying. They were so good. Pretzel sticks. Pre oh, pretzel sticks. Look at this little baby. <laughs> He's just hanging out. His feet are getting too big for these little baby socks. This is what we were playing. This is the monsters game. You can see each hole has a monster near it. And you have to try to destroy the monsters. I've got a whole point. Jackson's just playing everybody's, like, <laughs> he's just playing both of our games. Let's see. Flawless. Ooh, nice work. So we're having a bit of an issue right now with, with the, the balls coming out right now. We still have time left on our thing. Well, you can see we still have five minutes left and it's like ready to go. Swipe the light, let's see what happens. It doesn't seem to want to do it, so we've just been taking balls out of here. Because there's a whole bunch of them in there. Change your, ch change your grip, buddy, change your grip. Good job. So we're all done, we're heading out. What do you think? It was good. I thought the food was really good. Yeah, it was a good time, the food was good. It was about a hundred bucks for the food and the play time. Yeah. But they took me off because I never played. Up on the third floor, they've got a couple of like Pac-Man arcades. 
And then they have shuffleboard, but there's no beads or whatever it is, cornmeal or anything on it, like whatever you would use to make it slippery. And then there's a foosball table, which you play with a golf ball. This is like a meeting space up here, or like for birthday parties. But it's actually very nice because there's this outdoor section too. Like this is probably a cool place to have a little party. Oh, there's a bar out here and everything? Yeah, that's nice. Fun fact, I just had to raise the headrest again. Actually, it might be a little bit high right now. I might move it back down one notch. But that'll be the second time that I've raised it since we came home from the hospital. So I am going to do a two-month update because he is two months old now. He yeah. was two months old on the 6th. But we were doing too much like Star Cruiser stuff. So I haven't like done that update video yet. And then he has his two-month appointment at the doctor um, in a couple of days. So I'm going to do it after we go to the doctor so that I have like his... His actual height, like his, his actual stats. weight, yeah, his stats. Yeah. His like basketball stats. He can throw 10 three throws, three <laughs> free throws. <laughs> free throws. <laughs> I did it backwards. Um, and he has a, what, what else do they do in basketball? Uh, three pointers? Yeah, he has 79 three pointers. Yeah, he's got blocks, defense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, Pretty good. Uh, uh, tra hat tricks? <laughs> I don't Triple know. double? Well, what are Lots these things? Thing. He does them all. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. He's a growing boy and I can't wait to share his two months of like progress with you guys. He's huge. What's really funny is that, so we went to that birthday party, right? And there was a three month old. They have, a, our friends have a three month old baby and he, Jack, uh, Oliver was so much bigger than yeah. their, I could not believe how big he was compared to other babies yeah. older than him. Also just now breaking news, there's a new Japanese restaurant opening up at Epcot this summer. Uh, what was the name of it? I say, see, it's so new. It's so breaking. I don't even know what the name of it was. It was called Shiki Sai Sushi Is Kaya. That's a lot, a lot of words. But yeah, it's a, a brand new restaurant on the second floor of the Japan Pavilion. And they say with sweeping views of World Showcase and of course fireworks viewing. Now, if I remember the Japan Pavilion correctly, when you first go in to the left was Hibachi and then to the right was a table service restaurant. And I think this is taking the place of that table service restaurant on the second floor of the Japan Pavilion. I think they were both called Teppanito. Oh, were they? Yeah, but one was like Teppanito Hibachi oh. and the other one was like Teppanito Regular or something. <laughs> it had another name. I gotta look this up. All right, so uh, I'm sure you guys are wondering why Jen's in the back seat. I was gonna say, <laughs> I don't know why it triggers some people so much, but I just wanna sit back here with my babies, okay? Yeah. So I'm sitting back here with my babies. Sitting back with the babies. <laughs> we stopped off at the UPS store to send back that pop game. Oh yeah. And I didn't read the instructions on the Amazon return. Look at that plane. No, the plane up there. Can you the see it? The plane in the sky? We, I was supposed to keep the packaging and like return it in the packaging, but it was still just a UPS store drop off. That's was the first time that it's happened to me. It's Did me. they just change it recently? It but now we're at the post office box. <laughs> and we're going to mail something. We're also gonna check the mail because the whole reason why we came out here was to check the mail because one of our friends who always goes to the live show, our friend Nikki, she sent some magic mail from her Etsy shop. So she mailed us some magic mail as a thank you. That was very nice of her. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I'm excited to see like what she sent. I hope it's like a card trick. I think it's stickers. Oh, I was hoping for it. <laughs> like actual magic. Oh no. All right, we're here. We're getting our magic mail. It's been so long since we've been here. Oh no, the baby hates the post office. Ooh. So fun story. We were over here at the post office and we eat at, at Hawker's all the time. But there's so many other places to eat around here, it was overwhelming. So we pulled into the parking lot of Hawker's to try to find a new place to eat. And we just ended up, we're, we're gonna eat at Hawker's because there's so many places to eat. But we know this is here and we just couldn't pick and we're trying to find a place to go with a newborn and a three-year-old. It's like, we know what's on the menu here, so we're gonna just gonna eat here. Also, shout out, they were uh, playing Summertime by Will Smith when we walked in. Okay. Ooh, so we ordered a, like a ton of stuff. Very first thing that we got is this Japanese fried chicken. Let's see if Jackson will eat it. 
It looks like just regular chicken nuggets. So we got some chicken lo mein for Jackson, but we also wanted him to try this Japanese fried chicken over here. I showed them this. He did say that he liked it though. I got the Korean fried chicken, garlic gochujang topped with peanut, sesame, and cilantro. This one is too spicy for him and for daddy, but I wanted to try it. And then I got this, it's called the CKT. So the CKT is Chef Lo's signature char kway tiao, wok fired shrimp, chicken, lap cheong, egg, veggies, and fresh wide rice noodles in a soy and pork sauce. And of course, Tim got the crispy pork belly which he gets every time and he loves it. And it is really good. And the sauce is really good. Hoisin, yeah. The hoisin sauce, yum. And then this little guy is just fist pumping over here. He's just like, what are you doing, babe? And look at this guy eating stuff. But we've been having a hard time with him. He's become like a picky eater since he's turned three. So right now, Jackson is testing daddy on all of his car names. I got them all. You did? I don't know what they have in the water here. Whoa. Changes the color of the car. Whoa. <laughs> all right, so we did get a dessert for this little buddy. This is the um, banana spring roll, and it has like a peanut butter Nutella, and it comes with ice cream and berries. Whoa. Okay, so we're all done with dinner. Um, it was pretty good. I feel like it was better than last time, but not as good as other times that we've been there. I tried something new. It wasn't my favorite, but I don't know. It was exciting to try something new. I always recommend trying we're a new thing zero. if you can. We're at Disney World? He said we're at zero. Oh, <laughs> I was like, I don't think so. <laughs> so I wanted to tell you, we're actually at like in the Mills 50 district, which is by 50, which is a road and Mills, which is a road. And um, if you are here from out of town and you're looking for just like cool, like different kind of fun foods to try, I would definitely come to the Mills 50 district because there's lots of, um, I think that's where Little Vietnam is. Yeah. But it's also just other really good like Asian restaurants are all around the area as well. I'll so, give you I'll give you four places to go. Oh, Tim's gonna give us four places. Okay, what? I'll give you Mills 50. Mills 50. I'll give you the Milk District. Oh, I thought you meant four restaurants. He's gonna give you four different areas to try. Yeah, four restaurants. Four restaurants. I thought you were saying four restaurants to go no, to. No. So he's gonna give you four different areas where restaurants are. Four different areas that you should check out. So Mills 50 area, the Milk District. Thornton Park. Thornton Park and uh, Baldwin Park. And Baldwin Let's Park. Go. And he also said Old Winter Park, so like Winter Park proper. Yeah, That's Park where Avenue. Park Avenue is. Fun fact about Old Winter Park, that's where we got engaged. Oh yeah. There's a few restaurants down there that I wanna try in the Mills 50 area that we have passed by every time that we go to Hawkers. But I wanna go to Pho 88. It's supposed to be like one of the best Pho restaurants in Orlando. I've heard really good stuff about it, but we've never been. I also wanna try Tori Tori. And I would yeah. also like to try the Moj Tea Place. It sounds very interesting. Oh, it's right, Taco Chino. Oh, Taco Chino, yeah. Uh, uh, so that's like Mexican Asian fusion. So they do kind of like Asian style tacos. Uh, oh, we're, okay, so we're going down the bumpy road now. But those are. <laughs> oh my God. People are off roading. Oh, this is what you get. I don't know why people want cobblestone. Yeah, it's like cobblestone <laughs> roads back here. It's and, a back uh, road. It's uh, pretty willy nilly. So what were you saying? So this is Thornton Park, and a lot of people ask me where they should look hey, for houses. Bumpy. This is a great area. There's old houses, but it's very nice. Especially if you love bumpy roads. Yeah. Here's a look at Oliver's face when we were in the car wash. What was that all about, huh, bud? All right, so we just went through the car wash because every time we pass by the car wash, we have to go to the car wash. Right, buddy? And then how'd the car crash? Oh, and while we were turning into the car wash, some cars got into a car accident. So Jackson's been very curious as to why that happened. And it's because they weren't paying attention. Yeah, somebody ran a red light. Yeah, I can't run red lights, buddy. Because that's what happens sometimes, is your car might hit another car, so you have to be really careful. Right, bud? Can I see it? Yeah, we're gonna drive by it. They were fine, everybody was okay. It was just a minor crash. It could have been, it definitely could have been worse, but. I'm glad that they, uh, I'm glad that they're okay. They're gone, they're not even there anymore. So we're back doing this disappointing science experiment stuff. And today is underwater eruption. Yeah, that's number six. Hold on, down at the very bottom it says, just a few seconds, the lava eruption will begin. And it's like exclamation point, you're supposed to be so excited. Look at this thing. I mean, stuff is happening. 
but I wouldn't call this an eruption. I would call this, I would have said this was a lava lamp. No, nothing is erupting. I guess the bubbles are erupting out through the vegetable oil, but it's not like a, an explosion, right? We thought it was gonna, something was gonna get a, a big reaction. Not so much. Okay, so it's a few days later and I wanted to show you guys, I had totally planned on like filming us packing. We're getting ready to go on like a little mini staycation and I had planned on showing us like packing and all of that, but I gotta tell you, it is like chaotic times infinity <laughs> with two children. So here is a look at everything that we're bringing. We're literally gonna be there for two days. So that's also just wild all in itself. Plus this duffel bag over here and this car seat. So we're leaving right now and um, I'm excited. We've never stayed at this place. So I'm excited for you guys to see the upcoming videos. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for hanging out with us. I know that also this vlog was a hodgepodge and I say this every single time we do a home vlog now, but I think the home vlogs are just gonna be like kind of what we did for the week. That's sort of what this was, sort of like what we did for the week. So hopefully you guys are liking this style of video. If not, it'll get more normal one day, but today is not that day. <laughs> so um, thank you guys again for hanging out with us. We will see you guys soon. And uh, with that being said, we're off and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.